Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the intrinsic muscles of the eye, the ciliary body, and the iris. The intrinsic muscles of the eye are also called intraocular muscles because these muscles are present inside the eyeball. These muscles are the ciliary muscle. The fibers of the ciliary muscles are located in the ciliary body. This is the ciliary body and these are the, this is the ciliary muscle fibers. Sphincter pupillae. The muscle fibers are circularly arranged or concentrically arranged and this muscle is found in the iris. This is the sphincter pupillae muscle. Then the dilatory pupillae, these muscle fibers are also found in the iris. The fibers are radially arranged. They are radially arranged. Now we'll go to the nerve supply and actions of the intrinsic muscles of the eye. The ciliary muscle nerve supply by the oculomotor nerve. That is the third cranial nerve and this nervation is parasympathetic. What is the action of the ciliary muscle? It decreases the size of the ring formed by the ciliary body, decreases the tension on the suspensory ligament of the lens, increases the convexity of the lens resulting in the accommodation of the lens for near vision. So main purpose is here accommodation and to change the convexity of the lens. Sphincter pupillae is innervation from the oculomotor nerve, the third cranial nerve. Oculomotor nerve is the third cranial nerve and this is the parasympathetic innervation. Its action, constriction of the pupil, we call it meiosis. Dilatory pupillary muscle innervation, postganglionic sympathetic nerve from the superior cervical sympathetic ganglion that carries the sympathetic fiber from T1 segment of the spinal cord. The function or action of the dilatory pupillae is to dilate the pupil. We call it midriasis. The ciliary body, what is the ciliary body? This is the ciliary body is a triangular structure extending from the anterior end of the choroid. So this is the choroid from the anterior end will get the ciliary body. This is the choroid, choroid extending up to this, up to the ciliary body here and this is the ciliary body. It forms a complete ring around the eyeball this part and that part. Composed of ciliary muscle that is smooth muscle so its nerve supply should be autonomic and ciliary processes. Ciliary processes provide attachment for genular fibers of the suspensory ligament of the eye. These are the genular fibers of the suspensory ligament of the eye and the function of ciliary body is to accommodate the lens. So lens convexity will be increased if there is contraction of the ciliary muscle. There will be decrease in the size of the ring. The ring will be decreased. So the tension over the lens will be decrease lens will be more convex for near vision focusing that is called accommodation. The ciliary body also produces aqueous humor because ciliary body contains blood vessel, a lot of capillaries that is essential for production of aqueous humor that occupy these spaces aqueous humor. And there is again reabsorbed 
through the canal of saline. If there is any problem in reabsorption or overproduction, then there may be glaucoma. We'll go to the iris, a color circular structure. This color vary from person to person, from race to race. A color circular structure with a central opening or gap. This is the central opening. Okay. That is called pupil. That project and this iris project from the ciliary body. This iris is projecting from the ciliary body. An iris has a central gap that is called pupil. Contains sphincter pupil and dilator pupil muscle. We have two types of muscle is present in the iris. One is the sphincter pupil that will constrict the pupil. It will decrease the diameter of the pupil. Another is the dilator pupil. Its constriction will increase the diameter of the pupil. So here is the ciliary body. Here is the iris. And the gap in the center of the iris is the pupil. Dilator pupil contraction causes mediasis or dilation of the pupil. So, iris and pupil. This is the iris. This is the circular ring here, gap. That is the pupil. So, this is the part of the iris. So, we are not getting the entire pupil. Here, we are looking at the entire pupil. Normal pupil size. Maximum constriction meiosis here maximum dilation that is the here is the midriasis some drug causes meiosis some drug causes midriasis meiosis may be caused by some type of head injury like the injury to the pons in the cerebral cortex there may be injury in the upper part of the, the brain stem then we may get dilated people and dilated people is fixed people is also indicates person is in deep coma okay and normally in light the people constricts in darkness people dilates so if you go there again to this picture this is the sphincter people if it constrict then people will be constricted because it is concentrically arranged. These are the dilator people. If they constrict, then people will be dilated. Okay. And that's all about the anatomy of the intrinsic muscles of the eye and also anatomy of the ciliary body and the iris. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends and please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice day. Bye now.